you know, it's really funny, like the little ways that we find to show each other affection, I think. Um, I really like my flatmates, so the other day when I was popping out to the shops, I just said, you know, can I get you anything? And my flatmate's like, yeah, um, we need some milk. And I'm like, great, got us some milk. Um, today, I was like, oh, I'm going to go climb that mountain today. And she goes, oh, great, um, if you're going through the cemetery, can you just uh, pick us out a boy's name for our child? And I'm like, yeah, okay. So I did, and they're going to have a boy called Hans. It has been decided. So this got me thinking about boy, uh, about children's names, babies' names. And um, I was thinking of my nana, and she always said that she was called Iris because when she was born, her father looked at her and went, oh, she's really small, she needs a small name. I mean, babies are small, but that was his logic, and Iris was the name that he thought of. That, I mean, it is nice and concise, isn't it? Iris. Um, so because of Iris, I have this little notebook with an Iris on it, and it, it uh, reminds me of her, and um, I wrote something in it today that I'd like to share. It says, misunderstandings happen every day, but few people would mistake this for a poem.